Hello everybody, my name is Chuck, Northside Guy. I live a few blocks from Wrigley Field here in Chicago, what we call the North Side, and I thought that would be a suitable handle for my new website dedicated to my love of card collection, collecting. I'm also doing this as a tribute to Dave, Blue Jacket 66, in his 500 subscriber contest. He's inspired me to also want to share my love of collecting with everybody. And it's, uh, I figured it was, after enjoying so many of his videos and other people's videos, it's a real chance for me to, to start contributing back to the community. I've learned so much from everyone. I've had hours of enjoyment, learned about new products, um, and learned a lot about a hobby. I, I got back into collecting about seven or eight months ago. Uh, had not been really collecting for about uh, 38 years. So a lot of times passed since my uh, boyhood collecting. Uh, my mother uh, sold the boyhood home and fortunately did not throw away my collection. And I was uh, a set builder um, really from about 75 to 85 and uh, also collected uh, on the side too. So um, I bought sets. Um, if any of you folks remember Renato Galasso, she was a, a dealer who assembled complete sets and I think she was in Brooklyn and I purchased my first complete set from her for $8.99. Seemed like a fortune when I was a kid and still have that set today. Uh, my father and I um, would go to uh, card shows together. He uh, was inspired to uh, continue collecting um, early 50s cards. Uh, he was a set builder of the 55 Bowman. And I know a lot of people don't really like that, but he was really passionate, and so I have a soft spot in my heart for that set. But it was something my father, card collecting was something my father and I would do together. Um, we also went to a lot of ball games, played catch, and uh, I think uh, that's maybe a cliche, but it's so important to have that father-son connection. And Dave, I know you've talked about that too, um, uh, some of the collecting with your father as well. Uh, today, as a father of two sons myself, um, I'm trying to continue to pay it forward and share my love of cards with them. And um, we're having fun with the modern cards. Um, I love the product, Dave, that you share. Um, you give a, a really thoughtful about what you want to uh, talk about. You have a lot of interesting stories around it. You have some real niche areas that I wouldn't know about, frankly, without uh, watching your videos. I have to admit, and I've commented uh, before on uh, this, on your, on your um, video, comment section, uh, the 1954 Bowman Ted Williams that you featured um, just Stop me slack jawed. I saw that card and it was just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous card. And um, definitely I'm on the hunt for that. H haven't found one yet that has the centering. That's I've seen some with the uh, good grade, but not the uh, centering that I'm looking for. Absolutely gorgeous card and you introduced it to me. Um, I'm also a set builder and I'm going to dedicate my channel to um, the 1933 Gaudi. Um, a lot of people seem to have carved up uh, other sets I'm also building, and no one seems to be talking about the Gaudi, so I thought uh, I might as well start sharing my collection. I'm not quite there yet. I just started, as I said, last July or August. I have about 90% of the set built. I'm looking to build it in a 5 and a 6, and PSA 5 or 6, I think the cards are gorgeous. They're clearly classic cards, um, and I've had a lot of interesting adventures along the way in collecting. I'm going to have a video where I probably do my top 10 biggest mistakes, bonehead mistakes, now that I look back at it, but um, mistakes that I hope others can avoid by watching my video, hopefully in future. Had a heck of a lot of fun with this um, uh, hobby and uh, regret that I had spent so many years away, but I'm definitely <laughs> catching up now. Um, so I'm going to talk about the 33 Gaudi in my series. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to break it down. Probably going to post another video after this. But uh, let me share, uh, Dave, you asked us to send in, um, and I'm going to mail it tomorrow, some cards for your uh, 500 subscribers. So this is my first card I'm going to send to you. It's a, I want to talk about this guy, Victor Robles. It's a 2018 Topps update, Topps Chrome update, mint. I'm also going to send this uh, Pedro Martinez uh, rookie card. 
And I'm going to send a lot of talk about this guy lately, Ichiro. It's a 2017 Topps Heritage. And another rookie, Glaber Torres. 2018 Topps Chrome Update. Sorry for the glare there. And uh, Jacob DeGrom's off to a new er, great start. <clears throat> I know this is rare, but it's a, a nice card, and he's uh, certainly, as a Cy Young winner, he's going to be uh, someone to watch. So, Dave, you've really in, uh, inspired a lot of us out there. Um, keep up the great work. Um, you've inspired me to start this channel, and um, I thank you for that. Um, and uh, look forward to uh, following your example and the example of many others to uh, create uh, videos that are going to be of interest to others. And um, maybe I have a thing or two to teach. Hope so. Anyway, congratulations and uh, look forward to many, many more videos uh, as you continue to attract more and more people. Well deserved. Thank you.